Today is the first day of the last. Wait. Today is the last, last first day of classes for undergrad. That feels weird to say. But now it's time to go to ODU. Now we're here. No one's even in here yet. I've got about an hour to kill before atomic physics, and my professor wants to meet with me after to start talking about my senior thesis, because that's also my senior thesis advisor. And he sent me like four papers to review that was in like a previous video, so I'm going to spend the next 45 minutes going over those papers so that I don't look completely stumped. Trent's in. Hey. <laughs> what classes are you taking this semester? Uh, let's see, this semester I got atomic physics, uh, electromagnetism, uh, computational physics, quantum mechanics, physics in the 21st century, and uh, my senior thesis. What's up, man? What are you taking? Uh, I'm going to experimental. I'm all in the part one stuff. Uh, e &M, one, experimental one. I didn't like experimental part one, to be honest. No. I didn't care about circuits. You're always supposed to hit the ground running during the semester, so naturally... <laughs> Corey, what's, what class are you looking forward to the most? This year? Yeah. No? Yeah. Uh, honestly, it's not even a physics course. It's my engineering course, only because it has to do with space. Right here. My space systems engineering course. I don't like, engi I don't like my space engineering. engineering. All right, guys, have fun in E&M. It's still like 17 minutes away. I know, but I'm about to leave. I think that I just saw Trenton, so he's probably gonna walk in here, and we're gonna see how his first day of E&M was. What's up, man? How was E&M? Uh, it was fun. Was it? Yeah. What did you guys, what did you guys go over? Hard vector algebra stuff. Vector algebra? Algebra. Not even calculus or something. Uh, he has to approve some weird thing like off the cuff. I like that. I don't know. There's this one problem like find the unit, uh, prove that the unit normal vector is normal or whatever, just to some random function that's constant. Like, See if the sine of the angle is uh, one. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's a wrap on the first day of classes. Looks like it's mail time. I actually have no idea what's in here. It's a new battery. This camera that I got is really awesome. It's the Lumix G7. It's really good, but the only negative thing I have to say about it is that it has like an hour and a half battery life, so I had to get a new one of those. The fact that I'm not surrounded by textbooks or whiteboards means that I am back home and my first day of classes is over. Today wasn't bad at all because all I had was atomic physics and then public speaking. And for public speaking, we did that whole thing that's like, stand up and tell us your name, your major, and one interesting fact about you. I was like, yeah, one interesting fact about me is that I can start a fire just with my thoughts. Not like with my mind, but like with my girls, like my thoughts. Good one, Andrew. Atomic physics doesn't look like it'll be too bad, but I, I have a feeling that that's gonna be the tough one this semester. Just due to the nature of how my professor asks questions, I think atomic is gonna be more difficult, because we have classes every day, or not classes every day, quizzes every time we have class, and uh, he just likes to test you. He likes to see what you've got, which I can appreciate. That's why I asked him to be my senior thesis advisor. Overall review of the first day, so far so good. Tomorrow the fun stuff starts. I have computational physics at 9.15 in the morning, 9.30 in the morning, and quantum mechanics at one something. Let's get to it. 
We're now on to the second day of classes. It's a little rainy. What was that? Talking just got out of computational and now I'm kind of just killing time until quantum. Uh, we have some lecture notes that we're supposed to go over before class starts. It's just like a chapter of two of uh, the motivation behind quantum mechanics and how they started to really formalize it. But before I do that, I need to go to the bookstore to get some spiral notebooks because I don't have any. No one's here to hang out with me, so I'm gonna go see if I can find Amethyst and bother her. So how was your guys' uh, modern physics? What'd you guys learn? Learn the concept. Do you guys do special relativity first, or? We touched on it first. Use the Griffiths book. For modern? For space-time stuff. Which one is that? Griffiths e &M. Yeah, you talked about Lorentz contractions and all that good stuff. That's a wrap on day two. Yep. Now we got like what hundred more to go through. Something like that. Easy peasy. Mm -hmm. We out here.